All right. I don't know if you believe in coincidences, but this is certainly one. Welcome, by the way, to episode number 49 of this Toronto Maple Leafs NHL 22 playthrough. <sighs> Toronto Maple Leafs, Detroit Red Wings. We got them some things to talk about. Let's start this game. Peter Morazic in net. We're not starting Jack Campbell. Jack Campbell has struggled for us in this series. He struggled for the Toronto Maple Leafs in real life. 10-7 last night. The Leafs were winning 7-2 going into the third period. Then all of a sudden, five minutes into the third period, it was 7-6. Yeah, they held on. They never actually gave up the lead. Oh, man, but we talked about it before in previous episodes. The Leafs might need a goaltender. Jack Campbell struggling. Peter Morazic, not great. Here we are at Little Caesars Arena in Detroit. I think this is the first time I've ever played an NHL game at Little Caesars Arena. It's been a while since I played NHL religiously. And... I think the last time I played an NHL game was when Detroit was at the Joe Louis Arena. Which, by the way, I went to in real life. Love that arena. And right off the opening draw here, we're going to get an interference penalty. Dylan Larkin is going to go to the box. I didn't see it. But the Toronto Maple Leafs here are going to get an early power play. Toronto Maple Leafs also had no power plays last night in the game against the Detroit Red Wings, and they still scored 10 goals, which means, for those of you who don't know, that they set an NHL record for the most goals in a game without a power play. Previous record was eight, I believe. Uh, we don't get very many power plays in this series. Uh, we had one in the last game, and it was absolutely atrocious, and it was probably the reason we lost the game to the Anaheim Ducks. So looking for better results here, here's Nylander around. Nylander back around. Mitch Marner's going to hold the point here. Mitch Marner, four goals last night. Takes it to the front of the net. And a couple shots there. And it's stopped by Thomas Grice, who is in net. He played the second period last night for the Detroit Red Wings. It was Nedeljkovic, then Grice, then Nedeljkovic again. Oh, I didn't hold on to my lines here. So a minute 34, we're going to take a change. Shot there by Sandine after... The faceoff win from Spezza, and that puck is easily cleared. Uh, yeah, should have been paying more attention there. Still wanted the big boys out, but let's see if we can get the second unit click in here. Bunting's around. Bunting to the front of the net. Shoots it wide. Spezza. Trying to tuck it in. Doesn't work. And the Detroit Red Wings will clear. I saw this uh, fake Michigan goal today in the NCAA. Man, oh man, was it impressive. So maybe I'll try to do the fake Michigan in EA Sports since I can't do the real Michigan. Spezza in front for Kerfoot out of his reach. Rasmussen will get that puck and clear it down the ice. We're going to go back to the big boys here. We have to. Don't know why they would have changed there in the first place. Cash is stretching it out to Nylander who's open on the wing there. And Nylander, I hit the pass button to try and get it in deep into the zone. And Nicoletti's going to cut off the puck. You know, they say that um, the early power play is the hardest to score on. So let's see if we can get something here. Matthews with the shot. It was never covered, but Thomas Grice made the save. Still looking for a power play goal here with 21 seconds left in the power play. Tavares to take the draw. Have you ever seen a crazier NHL game than the one that we saw last night? I mean, I'd argue that the 8-6 game against Carolina was uh, from a couple of years ago was pretty crazy. Uh, Tavares in front, and then Matthews just backed off there for some reason. Probably should have taken the shot there with Tavares because he's been struggling a lot recently in this series. Also didn't have a point last night, despite the Leafs having 10 goals in the game. There's a nice backhand chance there for Tavares, and it's covered up by Grace. Yeah, no points for Tavares, which is kind of unreal. Uh, he's still without a goal in his last 11, I believe. Um, I'm concerned about the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, goaltending situation. I 
Don't know what's up with Jack Campbell. He's clearly in his own head right now. Not ideal for sure. Hasn't had a very good start uh, to the second half of the season or the post-COVID half of the season. Kasha trying to get around. He is around. With Camp going to the net. Nice cutoff there. I think that was Nick Letty. Is this Michael Grabner? Former Toronto Maple Leaf. It's got to be. Grabner to the front of the net. Mrazek will cover it up. Mrazek moves it up to Morgan Riley up to Kasha. Michael Grabner was one of the best Toronto Maple Leafs uh, in terms of penalty killers when he was uh, on that team. Just could never finish. Kind of very similar to Ilya Mikheyev. Then he left and went to the New York Rangers and was absolutely dominant for the New York Rangers on the PK. Uh, um, that being said, injury problems caught up to him, and I don't think he's played game in several years. I might be wrong about that. Fourth line shift here. They're the only shift or the only players for us to get a goal in the last episode against the Anaheim Ducks, a game when we were robbed because the refs gave an extra penalty to the Toronto Maple Leafs without even, you know, the Leafs taking a penalty. If you, you want to see what happened, go to the third period of my last episode and watch that because that is absolutely atrocious. Um, the Toronto Maple Leafs are also saying now that they aren't going to uh, circumvent the cap using uh, the cap LTIR rule with Jake Muzzin going on LTIR. I think that's just um, them being polite. I don't think that that is, or politically correct. I don't think that's, we should take that all too seriously. You don't want to come out and just say, hey, I'm, I'm like willing to circumvent the rules here. These aren't the way the rules are written, like intended to be played out while they're written. So like, obviously like the Toronto Maple Leafs uh, aren't gonna come out and say, hey, we're intentionally breaking the rules. Um, in my opinion. So I wouldn't put too much stock into that. Um, I really honestly still believe that Marc-Andre Fleury is a name that you should be looking out for. Nice shot there by William Nylander. Bunting's got a chance. Bunting around! Any fans on the shot or was he checked? I'm not quite sure. Here's Joe Valeno. He had a, he had a weird goal last night against Jack Campbell. William Nylander just got leveled here. and Now Justin Hall is going to step up and take on Cider here. Justin Hall stepping up for his teammate. We haven't had very many fights in this series recently. Justin Hall, couple of big punches here on Cider. Hall looking for the knockout blow, and there he gets it. Justin Hall is going to go to the box for five minutes. Probably, honestly, should get the instigator in that too, but EA Sports doesn't have the instigator penalty like many things that they don't have. And... Some reason the faceoff is going to come back into the zone. Tavares is joining Matthews here, which means Nylander is missing, which is not ideal. The NHL goal scoring leader. Is there a penalty right now? Because Mitch Marner is out right now. That's bizarre. Mitch Marner and John Tavares both out here. We're playing four forwards and a defenseman. And I think that's because it's Justin Hall in the box. Sandine back to play the puck. He gets level. The physical play is picking up. There's a long stretch pass there from Mitch Mar or from Austin Matthews from Mitch Marner. Detroit is going to get a penalty. Lucas Ravens going to the box, and the Toronto Maple Leafs are going back to the power play. You see that? That was great. That was nice teammates there offering a water bottle to each other in the penalty box. Tavares wins the faceoff. Despetsa rips it. Stopped by Grice. This is one of the weird uh, glitches in EA Sports. Uh, it says no time came off the clock there, but you'll see that there is, in fact, going to be time coming off the clock right now. Five seconds went off the clock there. Tavares wins the draw to Spezza. Spezza tried to make a move. Nice poke check there by Grice. Um, really need to get this power play going, so I'm kind of, kind of just trying to get, going to do it the old-fashioned way here and take it to the front of the net. Or maybe I'll just go to back to the point and look for some point shots. Marner fires it on. No one in front for the deflection. Grice will hang on. Still going to keep that first line out here. Um, yeah, we've struggled recently. But uh, you see there, we're down to 14th in the league standings. We're going to be in a battle here for the playoffs spot. 
I said keep the first line out, but uh, they put out the second line. Here's Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner to the front. Scores. There's that power play goal. I said I was going to keep it simple. Take the pucks to the net. Mitch Marner scores in Detroit, of course. He had four goals last night, so why would he not have any goals in the episode in Detroit? He's got a puck on a string. And he beats Grice there. It's a power play goal. The Maple Leafs lead. 1-0 here in Detroit. Tavares wins the draw. Morgan Riley to Tavares. Tried to go with the slapper. Haven't had that play set up in a while, but in the first few episodes in the series, that's one that I used often. Winning the faceoff, going straight up the middle with the captain and going bar down. Suter is in. Oh, makes a move around Morgan Riley. Hands off. Lucas Raymond can't shoot that puck. Morgan Riley's going to come away with it with Tavares. Morgan Riley tries to find Tavares, but is broken up there by Danny DeKaiser. And the Detroit Red Wings are going to come out with the puck. We've had a lot of low-scoring games in this series recently, which is kind of nuts because we were scoring at a ridiculously high pace there for a while. Stretch pass here for McKayev. I'm looking. But I'm just going to fire it off the glove of Grice and up and out of play. 2.18 remaining in the first period. Yeah, so guys, let me know in comments, like, what are you thinking is going to happen with this Toronto Maple Leafs team? They're going into Washington tonight to take on the Capitals. Uh, Ovechkin, obviously, uh, is going to be a tough task to stop for the Toronto Maple Leafs goaltenders, considering the Leafs goaltenders can't stop anybody right now. I would imagine that Peter Mrazek gets the net tonight. Nice stick there by Kerfoot. Is he away? No, he's not. But he's going to take four Detroit Red Wings with him, which means he can drop it back. But just out of the reach there. I'm not sure who that was. I think it was Kasha. There's Grabner in. Good stick by Dermott to knock that puck away. And a good stick there by Peter Mrazek to poke check the puck away. A centering pass in front. Mrazek makes the save. Well, I'll tell you, folks, I feel like Peter Morazic has turned a corner here in this series. And that will definitely be ideal for us. Shots are 13-6 to for the Toronto Maple Leafs in the first period. I actually didn't like that first period for us. I felt like we didn't get a lot of good chances and that the Detroit Red Wings kept us to the outside way too much. Still no sign of William Nylander here. Mitch Marner's playing up on that first line now. Here's TJ Brody in! Stop there by Grice. Not ideal if we lose William Nylander for an extended period of time. Because, like I said, he is our goal-scoring leader. By a wide margin over Austin Matthews, in fact. Matthews leads in points, of course, but... Try to get a shot there. Oh, Brody walked into it and fires it over to the top of the net. Great chance there for TJ Brody. Nice play here by Morgan Riley to stick up at the line. Morgan Riley, is he going to come away with this puck? He sure is. Morgan Riley in front. Can't get there. And Grabner, who's had a lot of ice time in this series, in this game. You've got to be kidding me. Michael Grabner playing top line minutes? Okay. Uh, here's Jacob Verana in. Over to Larkin. The shot stopped by Morazic. Morazic's going to play it out. That could have been dangerous there. As TJ Brody's not going to come away with the puck initially, but Austin Matthews is. Matthews with speed. He's got a step. Matthews around. Over to Marner. No. It was in too tight. Marner kind of skated by the net. It's a delayed penalty here going to the Toronto Maple Leafs. It's an interference call. And they're calling it to Matthews. Kind of confused. I was controlling Matthews there. Not sure what happened. But the Detroit Red Wings are going to go to the power play for the first time in this game. Um... In the last episode, we killed off three consecutive Anaheim Ducks penalties, which was huge. Um, and then they finally scored on their fourth attempt. So our penalty kill has been a lot better. There's a great stick from Ilya Mikheyev to deflect it up and out of play. Um, if we're going to make the playoffs, and believe me, that is the goal to make the playoffs, we are going to need a better defensive effort on the penalty kill. We're dead last in the league out of 32 teams. Uh, oh, great, great pad save there by Morazic. I was in behind there with Dermott, just in case that puck somehow snuck through. Picked off there by Mikheyev there for a second. Morazic gets across. Valeno, Dermott, get down. 
Another penalty coming. Dermott's going to get called there on a, for a tripping penalty. The Detroit Red Wings are going to go. Nice block there from Travis Dermott. The Detroit Red Wings are going to get a 5-on-3 here as Travis Dermott went down to block a shot and one of the Detroit Red Wings tripped over him. Austin Matthews, Dermott in the box. Dermott's not going to be as friendly as the Detroit Red Wings teammates offering the water bottle up to Austin Matthews. All right. Big face-off win for Camp. Doesn't win it. Vrana scores. I mean, you can't do anything with that. There's literally nothing as a player of this game that I could have done with that. I was screwed from the get-go. I lost the face-off, and I had no chance to defend. It was just a clean shot. It is what it is. It's 1-1. One, one. The goal now, as I always say on the 5-on-3s, five is just not to give up another one. I'm okay with giving up one, but don't give up two. Unfortunately, we still have a minute 37 to kill off here, which is less than ideal. Spezza is going to win this face-off back. I feel it. He doesn't. I was going to say, I can just take it out of the zone anyway, probably. Nice pick-off there by Spezza. He's going to bring the Detroit Red Wings in offside. We're slowly killing off time here. This game has been nothing like the Detroit Red Wings Toronto Maple Leafs game from the other night. It's a toss up there. Tavares can't win the faceoff. Tavares is uh, taking the faceoff here in the absence of our best penalty killer, William Nylander, who is still not yet returned. Tavares is in. I hit the pass button to take it in deep. Did not work. Tavares is somehow going to come away with it. Morgan Riley to the line. Just shoot it in, I guess. That's not what I tried to do at all, but uh, that's what the game let me do. And uh, Morgan Riley, just get it out off the boards. Yes, it is out. Just barely. Verona can't hold the line. Muzzin, level Larkin. No, nice move by Larkin there. Morgan Riley, skate onto that puck, man. Okay, here we go. Adam Ernie with the shot. Stop. Block it away there by Peter Morazic. That puck's going to ricochet all the way down the ice. And Verona picks up the puck. Nice stick there by Tavares. And he's going to get it out just ever so slightly. Verona. Morgan Riley tries to clear. Can't. Jake Muzzin will finally get it down the ice. Ilya Mikheyev races onto it for Nemestikov. 20 seconds to go here in the Detroit Red Wings power play. Another nice move by Larkin. Another nice move by Larkin. Two great moves to get around and into the zone. And Detroit Red Wings are going to get their setup here. Adam Ernie with the shot. Blocked by Larkin. Mikheyev clear it down the ice. That penalty is going to be over. Like I said, we just gave up one on that five on three. So I'm okay with that. Um, I think that's... I, don't, I actually don't, I have no idea who that is stepping out of the box. It's Dermot. It's played back here. Tried to get Dermot to go for a change there. And it's a cluster at the, at the line. At the bench. Valeno in! In the last episode against the era against the Anaheim Ducks, you saw that following the penalty kill, uh, we had a trouble sorting out assignments, and it cost us the game. And that was almost another disaster there. Matthews take the draw. Mitch Marner jumps. Is he away? Yes, he is. Mitch Marner. Not sure if Grice got a piece of that or not. Looking for a second of the game. Bunting in front. They whack away at it. Can't get it there. I thought Matthews was going to get a uh, penalty there as he kind of checked Ronick. But uh, no harm, no foul. Maybe we've come away with the puck. Sandine up to Bunting. Drops it for Marner. Marner in. Tries to poke it past Grice. Missed it. And uh, back come the Detroit Red Wings. Valeno back in. Justin Hall stolen by Valeno. Oh, man. You see how I just backed off there with Justin Hall? I was just like, ah, just let Morazic have it. He's got it. And he did. He made the save. Kerfoot around the net. Matthews is tied up there. But he's going to come away just ever so slightly for the puck. Detroit has been fiercely forechecking us here. Uh, Hall does not take his man at all there. But it's okay. Morazic's going to bail us out again. Love the way that Peter Morazic has been playing for us recently. I have no complaints at all. 
but our offense has disappeared. This game has been very slow with all the penalties. Great stick there by Camp to knock that out of the way. Valeno, Rasmussen, takes it to the front of the net. Morazic's going to cover it, and he's going to move it off to Justin Hall there to Kasha. Kasha, faking the shot here. He's around. Gets checked there by Letty. It's just a little bit of contact, and that's all it takes for the Toronto Maple Leafs to give up the puck right now. They're not strong on the puck at all. Another delayed penalty for the, the, the Detroit Red Wings here. Rasmus Sandin's in looking for a shot. Can't get there. Kasha gets hit and Camp gets hit. And there's going to be two penalties on this play. It's an interference penalty. Not sure what else. Ernie's going to the box. He's going to join. It looks like Lucas Raymond already in the box. All sorts of interference penalties. Whatever roughing penalties you want to call there for the Detroit Red Wings. And now we have an extended 5-on-3. Sheldon Keefe, Ball Sheldon Keefe says, you know what, I'm going to put out the second unit here to start us off. And that's okay. Kerfoot takes it to the front of the net, stopped by Grace easily. And uh, I love Ball Sheldon Keefe. I think he makes some great decisions, but we're going to put out the first unit. Screw that. This is a critical point in the game for the Toronto Maple Leafs. We've struggled a lot on the power play, scoring goals in recent memory. Cider is going to clear that puck down the ice. So we're trying to get the best possible outcome here. Mitch Marner, stretch it for Tavares. Tavares is in. Tavares rips it wide. Spezza trying to pick up that puck. Can't. Nick Letty tangled in the corner with John Tavares. And for some reason, every Toronto Maple Leaf backs away there. From the corner, despite there being two Detroit Red Wings out of the three guys on the ice in that corner. Okay, that makes sense. Austin Matthews stops up here. Matthews with the shot, puts it wide. Tavares around the net. Tavares scores. John Tavares, just his 11th goal of the season. Oh, I have a huge smile on my face because Tavares really needed that one, folks. I tell you, he's had a rough go of it lately. It's a five-on-three power play goal. The Toronto Maple Leafs' second power play goal of the evening, and it's 2-1 Toronto. I'm sorry, bald Sheldon Keith, but it uh, looks like my moves came through there. Uh, the second unit almost gave up a shorthanded goal there, though. That would have been disappointing. Still a minute six to go in this power play. The second union is on the ice. Mitch Marner is just like killing it with ice time right now in the absence of William Nylander. Uh, Jason Spetz's also ice time is also picked up here. And uh, nice drop back. I guess that's the closest thing we'll come to a drop back in EA Sports Hockey. Mitch Marner around. Mitch Marner tries to tuck it. Morgan Riley pinched there. Did not quite work out. And away come the Detroit Red Wings. Marner with a huge body check. This game's become nasty, folks. Morgan Riley gets knocked off the puck. DeKaiser moves the puck. Morgan Riley's going to hold the line here. We're looking for a setup. Morgan Riley in. Morgan Riley to the front of the net. He loses the handle on it. Morgan Riley trying to get things sorted out here. Morgan Riley again. The rebound. Kerfoot was there. Could not get on it in time. And the Detroit Red Wings clear the puck. Mitch Marner is going to go for an end-to-end -end rush here. Mitch Marner. And I heard 10 seconds on the clock. Uh, I think that was Pierre Engvall there coming off the bench. He got knocked offside. Didn't like that at all. Uh, looks like they're going to give some Wayne Simmons some power play time here with Austin Matthews and John Tavares. Um, I'm okay with that. Uh, only six seconds left anyway. Sire's in. He's going to turn that puck over to Kasha. Kasha straight up the middle. Kasha over to Matthews. Matthews stops up, holds up. Looking for an option. Austin Matthews on his offside. Tries to drop it back there for Rasmus Sandin. And uh, that did not work at all. Nice spin move there by Kasha. Kasha's in. Kasha to the net. Puts it just wide. Matthews onto the puck with Simmons. Simmons gets hammered into the boards. Working there with Matthews. Matthews tries to get it to Tavares. He's cut off by Nick Letty. And the Detroit Red Wings are going to clear the puck. I don't know how I feel about this game. 
I felt a lot better about the Anaheim Ducks game. It feels like we're getting muscled off of every puck. And I don't like that at all. Another turnover there from Kasha. Sam Gagne with a chance. Austin Matthews with a little bit of work there. We just seem like one step slower on everything here. And now we're running into each other at the line. Matthews up to Simmons. That pass was actually intended for uh, Rasmus Sandin there. Look at the hold there. Matthews is done with this bullshit. He runs over his man. And it's cleared out to the line and down the ice. Sam Gagne with a couple seconds left in the period. Mrazek's going to cover up there. And that ends it for the second period. Kind of a weird period. Lots of penalties in this game. And uh, Toronto's offense is not clicking. 2-1 here. Are we in store for a wild third period? It's time to find out. Austin Matthews to take the draw with Mitch Marner. Matthews doesn't win it. Grabner, who was not on the power play there, or the penalty kill, I should say. So that's kind of strange. Drop pass for TJ Brody. We're going to go straight up the middle. Nope, we're not. It's cut off by Grabner and his amazing speed. Grabner to Ferrana to Larkin. Shot stopped by Morazic. Morazic's going to move that puck to TJ Brody. Going to find Austin Matthews, and I'm going to try and get it out to Bunting. Every pass is just a little bit off right now. Lots of turnovers here for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Somehow it hasn't cost us yet. There's a nice centering pass there and a shot from the point. Not sure whose shot that was. But here's Mitch Marner. Still playing with Austin Matthews in the absence of William Elander. Mitch Marner stops up, holds up, takes the shot. Nice stop there by Grice. Matthews is on the puck here. Matthews backhand. No. Bunting the rebound. Stopped by Grice. He's been solid in this game for the Detroit Red Wings. And you know what? In order to get a victory, we have to play more on this end. David Camp to take the draw. Loses it. Here comes Lucas Raymond. Not sure if they ever credited Raymond with the hat trick last night. I don't think he got a piece of that one goal that they were talking about on the broadcast, but uh, maybe. Jake Muzzin to Dermott. Float that puck on the net, Dermott. That was a weird animation. It looked like it was going straight towards the five hole, and then Bryce made a, a glove save animation. I might have miss, miss seen it. Miss seen it? Is that a word? Miss seen? Not sure. Uh, here's Camp to take the draw. Still looking for the insurance breaker. Nice face-off win there by Camp. Back to Dermot. Dermot, point shot. Comes straight up. Bit of a weird uh, stop there from Grice. But here come the Detroit Red Wings. Hey, we're 14 minutes in to this period. 14 minutes in. Six minutes into this period, and no goals have been scored. I think there's like seven scored at this point in the game last night in the third period. Here's Kasher right out in front. Every time I try, try to go for that pull out in front now, I'm getting stick checked. Like, I feel like EA Sports has caught on to my tactics of how to score in this series. Here's Kasha straight up. Kasha dumps it around for Spezza. Spezza, does he get there? Does he have the puck? I think he does. He does. He's going to find Pierre Angval. Haven't said that name very much tonight. But that's okay because he's going to wrap around and score right now. Pierre Angval in front. I almost called it. Pierre has been solid fourth line contributor for us, uh, which is kind of hilarious because I'm not a big fan of Pierre Angval. Nice stop there by Peter Morazic. Zadina. De Kaiser at the point. Ronick. Fabry. Stick check there by Muzzin. Morazic's going to move that puck to Kasha. Kasha to Angval. Angval. Gets checked there, but the Leafs are going to come out of the puck. Dermot leading the rush. Tries to drop it for Angval. Doesn't work. Fabry was there. Ten minutes to go in the third period. Still trying to play in this end. Still trying to look for that insurance marker. Here come the Detroit Red Wings. This game has been nothing like the 10-7 game that uh, I was anticipating it was. Here's... Oh, man. Tavares beat out that icing. For sure. Um, I thought he for sure beat that out. But it is what it is here. Tavares will take the draw here. Huge win from Tavares. Jake Muzzin's going to take it out of the zone. But it's turned right over. Haven't liked our ability to take the puck out of the zone in this game at all. Muzzin checked at the line there again. Still can't get it out. Like several whacks at it here. Pierre Angval's going to try and come in and help. Does not work. Dermott plays it straight back into the skates of the Detroit forwards. Not what, sure what that was. 
and they took it to the front of the net and they're unable to get a shot away. Here's Pierre Engvall working along the boards now. He tries to muscle the puck away. Sam Gagne tries to cut to the front of the net. Jake Muzzin takes him down, and then Muzzin is take, taken down as well, but Detroit is going to come away with the power play here. 6.35 to go in the period. This is huge. Wayne Simmons to take the draw here. This is a disaster waiting to happen. Simmons doesn't win it. Wouldn't expect him to. Oh, man. Almost another set play there that had no chance of defending. But uh, somehow Mrazek gets across there. Simmons just get a shot on net there. Did he miss the net? Not sure what happened there. Mikheyev tries to get in on Grace and force a faceoff. But Grace is going to move that puck. And here come the Detroit Red Wings. Adam, Ernie can't get across. Simmons. Tries to cover Letty. Can't get there. The Detroit Red Wings still have possession. Now Wayne Simmons has got a break. Wayne Simmons! Stopped by Grace. Again, tried to get him to hold on to the puck. Grace moved it, and that was almost deadly as Simmons was all there. Rasmus Sandin. Could not do anything with that puck. Morgan Riley getting down, trying to break up a two-on-one here. Oh! Centering pass goes just out of the reach there. Not sure if that's Larkin. It is Larkin in the corner. Great chance there for the Detroit Red Wings to even up this game. Larkin, the shot, stopped by Mrazek. And he'll hold on with 58 seconds remaining in the power play. Five minutes to go in the third period. This time, Balchel and Keith decides that he's going to put out an actual center iceman to take the draw. It's camp, and he wins it, and Justin Hall will clear it down the ice. Mitch Marner races onto that puck. Love the way that Mitch Marner tries shorthanded in real life, by the way. I think he is a spectacular penalty killer. Uh, Camp gets muscled off the puck there. Look at Mitch Marner even just trying here on the penalty kill. Verana is in. Stick check there by Justin Hall. Up to Mitch Marner. Mitch Marner just get it deep. Try to get it deep with Marner. Didn't quite work. Morgan Riley tries to jump into that play. I don't like that at all, Morgan. Stay back. Know your role. Justin Hall, get it out. Can't get it out. Try again. Uh-oh, Justin Hall's out of position here. Morgan Riley's got to stay in, stay down. Morgan Riley, stick. Grabner, Valeno, stop by Morazic. Morazic, move it. Doesn't move it. Decides to hold on. 10 seconds left. 4.45 remaining in the game. Our power play, or sorry, penalty kill, has been solid recently. Matthews to take the draw here on the PK. 10 seconds remaining. Larkin wins it. Oh, man. Nice play there by Morazic to read that one again. That was kind of a dangerous pass there to Justin Hall, too. Uh, but the Toronto Maple Leafs are going to kill off that penalty as well. Four minutes to go in the third period. Detroit's looking to press here, trying to even up this game. Nick Letty's in! Stopped by Morazic. He'll hold on again. First star, Morazic? I don't know if I should call this video, do the Maple Leafs have a goaltending problem? Because, I mean, they do. But we may have solved their goaltending problem in this game. Detroit's dominating the faceoff circle in this game. And they win another one there. Nice stick there by Mitch Marner. Uh, he's checked there by Verana. Don't like that at all. Muzzin takes um, his man right into Mrazic. And Mrazic will cover up there with 3.09 remaining here in the third period. Camp to take another draw here. This one's critical. Against Larkin. And Camp wins it. To TJ Brody. Up to Kerfoot, who's got time to dump it in. Kasha onto Kaiser. The Kaiser moves faster than Kasha can get to him. Nice play there by Camp to get it to Kasha. Kasha looking for the insurance marker. Takes a couple of men behind the net. He's held onto there for a second. No penalty on the play. Kasha's going to move it back for Camp. More time killed off. A minute 20 to go. Look towards the empty net here. Or as uh, we'll see if the Detroit Red Wings decide to pull their goalie. Having a hard time speaking English in this game. Here's Kasha. Kasha. I haven't seen the animation for the goaltender pull yet. Somebody's calling for a line change. The Detroit Red Wings are pulling their goalie. And Camp can't get it out. Zadina. Larkin. Hold on to that puck. Gee whiz. It's a scramble, and Toronto's going back to the power play here. Not sure what happened there, but the puck was sitting there. It is Michael Grabner, by the way. I'm glad it is, because I've been calling him Michael Grabner the entire game. 
he's going to the box here. That's a terrible penalty to take, by the way. Especially with Toronto's power play operating at 50% for the game. Looking for the insurance marker with 34.9 seconds left of ours to take the draw. He wins it to Sandine. Sandine to Tavares to Matthews. And somehow, is it going to be a two-on-one here? It better not be. Detroit's pulling their goalie. Not sure if he's going to get out here. Oh, man. Simmons just got leveled into the boards as well. He lost his stick on that play. Matthews up to Kasha. Just out of his reach. It's still an empty net for Detroit. Sider's back. Austin Matthews and Tavares muscling, looking for the puck there. Can't come away with it. But you know what? That might just be enough time here to kill off. Kasha with a nice back check there. Tavares shot at the empty net. It doesn't matter. The Toronto Maple Leafs have defeated the Detroit Red Wings by a score of 2-1. to one. And the complete opposite of the game that happened last night in Detroit. Where it was a 10-7 game. This game was all about defense. And specialty teams. Just absolutely nothing like that game. Were all the goals scored on the power play? I believe they were. All of them scored... That, well, the Detroit ones were scored, was scored off of a weird face-off play. And Tavares and Marner with the wraparound attempts. Hmm. But the story following this game is going to be the health of William Nylander. Is he going to miss some time? Because he did not play any of the second or the third period. And we can't afford to miss the leading goal scorer in this EA Sports simulation. Uh, Thomas Grice was the second star there. Should we wait and see if Peter Morazic's the first star? He is. How about that? The two goalies are the first and second stars in this game. That is not what I would have expected. Anyway, if you like this episode, hit the like button, subscribe if you really like it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, which is episode number... 50.